we be without brushless motor control? Maybe some of you remember the old days. The days of brushed DC motors, TVs with rabbit ears, and landline phones. Sure, brushed DC motors got us by. But jeez, they were loud. My mother's vacuum cleaner was like an aircraft carrier. If we had the windows down, you could hear that thing for blocks away. And don't even get me started on that dishwasher. But as much as we love the quiet charm of brushless DC motors, the fact is that they can be complex and difficult to design, needing complex hardware and optimized software just to ensure the reliability of the design. But what if BLDC design doesn't have to be difficult and time-consuming? Well, my friends, I'm happy to say that it doesn't have to be. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Designing systems with brushless DC motors can present us with a variety of difficult design challenges, including motor deceleration, reliable motor startup, and hardware complexity. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Vishnu Balaraj from Texas Instruments and I investigate two new solutions for BLDC motor design that are code-free, sensorless, and easy to use. We review the features of the MCF8316A and MCT8316A motor drivers, and examine how each of these solutions can make your next BLDC design easier than ever before. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Texas Instruments. Hi, Vishnu. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about solving design challenges with TI's code-free, sensorless, BLDC motor drivers today. But Vishnu, before we get into the details, what kind of benefits do you see these motor drivers bringing to the table? So we will be discussing about our two code-free sensorless motor drivers, MCF8316A and MCT8316A. MCF8316A is a code-free sensorless motor driver IC with field-oriented control algorithm integrated in it. MCT8316A is also a code-free sensorless motor driver IC with six-step trapezoidal control motor driver integrated in it. Designing systems with brushless DC motors can be challenging because it usually requires complex hardware and optimized software designs to deliver reliable real-time control. With MCF8316A and MCT8316A, system designers can accelerate design time because these code-free motor drivers include a built-in motor control algorithm that can eliminate motor control software development, maintenance, and qualification. MCF8316A and MCT8316A have built-in 60 MHz internal clock that provides low latency, real-time control, and this can speed up the system response. Both devices are fully integrated brushless DC motor solution, which includes the gate driver, integrated MOSFETs, and motor controller. This can reduce the boat space by up to 70%. So Vishnu, you mentioned two different solutions. Can we dig into the details of both of them? Absolutely. So let's firstly look into MCF8316A. So MCF8316A is a single chip brushless DC motor driver IC, which is rated up to 40 volts. This IC can be used to drive 12 volts or 24 volts rated brushless DC motors and can provide up to eight amps of motor peak current. Let's look at some of the key features of this device. This device has code-free field-oriented control algorithm integrated in it, which means no firmware development is required. Motor parameters are critical in the operation of FOC algorithm. This device has a tool called Motor Parameter Extraction Tool, or MPET, which measures the motor electrical parameters, such as motor resistance, motor inductance, motor back EMF constant. It also measures motor mechanical parameters, such as moment of inertia, friction, and damping coefficient. So MCF8316A calculates the speed and torque proportional and integral controller gains based on these calculated motor parameters. MCF8316A also provides improved acoustic performance with algorithm features such as dead time compensation. 
This device provides windmilling support, which is used in ceiling fans. In applications such as ceiling fans, the motor might not always be stationary before we start spinning the motor. The ceiling fan might coast due to external forces such as wind, etc. With this windmilling support feature, device is smart enough to detect motion in the ceiling fan and will continue to spin the ceiling fan without having to stop the motor and spin from zero speed. Now let's look at MCT8316A. MCT8316A is also a single chip brushless DC motor driver IC, which is rated up to 40 volts. This IC can be used to drive high speed brushless DC motors or applications that require very fast startup time. This IC can drive motor up to eight amps motor peak current. Now let's look at some of the key features in MCD-A316A. MCD-A316A provides code-free high-speed trapezoidal control. It can be used to spin motors up to 180,000 RPM for a two-pole motor. MCD-A316A can be a great choice for motors that require very fast startup time. So this device can help motors accelerate from zero speed to maximum speed in less than 50 milliseconds. This device also has features such as fast deceleration, which can help spin the motor from maximum speed to 10% of the maximum speed in less than 150 milliseconds. MCT8316A supports 120 degree or 150 degree modulation. This helps in improving the acoustic performance. So Vishnu, can we talk about the different control methods here? I know there can be some differences between trapezoidal and field-oriented motor control. So let's firstly look at the trapezoidal control method. One of the biggest advantages in using trapezoidal control method is it is very simple to implement. So the algorithm is very simple when compared to field-oriented control. It can also be used in high-speed operations and for motors that require very high torque. Some of the challenges that we see in Trapezoidal control is the harmonics that it generates in audible range. It can also generate very high torque ripple. So customers can actually feel the motor vibrate when trapezoidal algorithm is used. Now let's look at field-oriented control method. This method provides the best motor efficiency by maintaining the flux at 90 degrees for surface mount permanent magnet synchronous motors. This algorithm also provides the best load response as it has an integrated speed and torque feedback. It also provides very low noise. Some of the challenges that we see in field-oriented control is that this field-oriented control algorithm is highly dependent on motor parameters. It also requires accurate PI control loop tuning. It also requires accurate current and voltage sensing along with ADC. Another major challenge in using field-oriented control is the complexity involved in the algorithm. So this algorithm is highly complex as it requires solving differential equations, and complex mathematical equations. So would this kind of single chip solution address the hardware complexity that is normally required for these kind of BLDC motor designs? Building hardware for a BLDC system can be overwhelming for many system engineers. A typical system requires gate drivers, integrated MOSFETs, current sense amplifiers, voltage sensing comparators, and analog to digital converters. Most systems require a dedicated power architecture, including devices such as low dropout regulators or DC-DC step-down regulators. This is to power all of the components on the board. An integrated BLDC driver combines all of these components and delivers a compact yet easy to use solution. Also, a built-in motor controller with pre-programmed motor controller algorithm can eliminate motor control software development, maintenance, and qualification. This can also accelerate design team for system engineers and can help minimize the product development cycle time to a great extent. So I know that one of the benefits that BLDC motors bring to the table are that they are relatively quiet. And this can be a big deal when it comes to designs for a home setting, right? Yes, that's right. Brushless DC motors are quieter compared to brush DC motors. Open concept floor plans for homes and offices have increased demand for quieter appliances. We can find brushless DC motors in our home appliances, such as food processors, vacuum cleaners, refrigerators, dishwashers, etc. Even a little difference in the acoustics can make a huge difference in the audible noise. So how can the MCF8316A and the MCT8316A bring the noise level down even further on top of what the BLDC motor offers? MCF8316A and MCT8316A 
have several algorithm techniques to minimize the electrical noise due to the commutation. System engineers can minimize the audible noise through techniques such as dead time compensation, PWM modulation, and 150 degree commutation mode. Table on top right shows the audible noise measured on an air purifier. The noise was measured at different motor speeds and we could clearly see up to 3 dBA sound pressure level difference before and after optimizing acoustics in MCF A316A. The bottom plot shows the acoustic performance in MCT A316A. We could again clearly see up to 3 dBA sound pressure level difference between 120 degree and 150 degree commutation method. We discussed earlier that one of the challenges with FOC is that it requires motor parameters. So how does the MCF 8316A address this challenge? So the sensorless FOC algorithm performance is highly dependent on motor electrical and mechanical parameters. So motor parameters can vary due to several factors. Motor parameters can vary due to manufacturing tolerance, temperature, etc. So any variation in the motor parameter can affect the performance of the FOC algorithm. So MCF 8316A addresses this challenge by having a tool called motor parameter extraction tool. MCF 8316A has the capability to automatically measure motor electrical parameters and motor mechanical parameters. So this can help customers avoid manually entering these values themselves. This also means customers do not require a motor data sheet. The MPET routine measures the winding resistance, inductance, and back EMF constant, along with motor mechanical parameters such as mechanical load inertia and frictional coefficients. So the algorithm uses all these measured motor parameters to calculate the speed and torque PI controller gains. An accurate speed and torque PI controller gain can enhance the performance of FOC and can also provide stable speed and torque operation. This offline measurement of parameters takes place before the motor operation. So a reliable and quick startup of the motors for these kinds of designs is also an important design challenge, right? How do these solutions address this issue in particular? So applications such as fuel pumps, vacuum robots require a very fast startup time. So startup time is the time taken for the motor to reach maximum speed from zero speed. So MCT8316A provides algorithm techniques that can help motors accelerate from zero speed to maximum speed in less than 50 milliseconds. One of the most difficult challenges faced by system engineers is to minimize this motor startup time. Almost every sensorless motor driver solution relies on the back electromotive force, also called as back EMF detection, to achieve the position estimation. This back EMF is proportional to the motor speed. So when the motor is stationary, the back EMF will be zero. Quick startup time is very critical in applications such as fuel pumps, vacuum robots, etc. So MCF A316A and MCT A316A devices address this challenge by providing several startup methods such as align, initial position detect, also called as IPD, and slow first cycle. These startup methods accurately sense the rotor position and help the motor to start up reliably and spin the motor up to maximum speed in less than a few milliseconds. So the plot on the bottom right shows the FG signal at the top, the phase current, and the speed. So as we can see, speed ramps from 0 RPM to 100% speed in around 35 milliseconds. So motor deceleration can also be a challenge, right? Yes. So motor deceleration can be very tricky because when motors start to decelerate at a very high deceleration rate, there could be huge kinetic energy flowing from the motor back to the power supply. And this can cause voltage overshoots and it can even damage the system. So decelerating the motor quickly is, again, one of the critical challenges faced by system engineers. MCT A316A has the solution to it. This device has the capability to decelerate the motor quickly from 100% of the speed to 10% of the speed within tens of milliseconds without pumping the energy back into the input DC supply using the fast deceleration feature. So the plot on the right shows the speed curve. So the motor is spinning at 33,000 RPM and within 130 milliseconds of deceleration time, the motor can decelerate from 33,000 RPM to 3,300 RPM without overshooting the supply voltage. So from previous Chalk Talks, I know that tuning these BLDC motors can be quite challenging. How do these solutions address this issue? Tuning a motor control algorithm can be very challenging 
because it involves several parameters. For example, the field-oriented control algorithm has several user configurable parameters. Engineers need to know what parameters to tune and their trade-offs to successfully spin the motor in a closed loop and also meet system performance parameters such as speed, efficiency, etc. So TI provides evaluation boards or EVMs for MCF A316A and MCT A316A. Along with the EVMs, TI also provide graphical user interface, also called as GUI, for easy and quick motor tuning. In a sensorless FOC algorithm, the integration of advanced control techniques can significantly speed up the motor tuning. A guided tuning in the GUI provides default options for motor startup and assistance with the tuning process. MCF A316A and MCT A316A include multiple configurable options to optimize the motor performance in a matter of minutes. This can significantly reduce the design cycle time. The screenshot on the top right shows the MCF A316A EVM, and the screenshot on the bottom shows the screenshot of the guided tuning, which is integrated in the MCX A316A GUI. So Vishnu, what's the power story here? Can these motor drivers also help with power loss as well? Yes. Minimizing the power losses for power converters can be challenging to design engineers. There could be multiple sources of power dissipation in a brushless DC motor driver, such as MOSFET switching losses, RDS on of the MOSFETs, slew rate of the MOSFETs, etc. An increase in power loss can heat up the device and cause the device not to operate as expected. So the power losses in MCF A316A can be minimized by enabling the buck regulated power sequencing, by increasing the slew rate of the MOSFET switching, by decreasing the PWM output frequency, and also by configuring the PWM modulation scheme to discontinuous space vector PWM modulation. Similarly, power losses in MCT A316A can be minimized by decreasing the PWM output switching frequency, configuring the PWM mode in single-ended mode, and enabling ASR and AR. So the screenshot on the right shows the device case temperature. So the device case temperature in MCF A316A drops by 34 degrees Celsius from 109 degrees Celsius to 75.4 degrees Celsius after optimizing the thermal performance. Okay, so Vishnu, you mentioned that these motor drivers can also reduce board space. Can you talk about that as well? Yes. Let's look at the common 70 watts BLDC motor implementations. A 70 watt BLDC motor can be implemented using a discrete approach, which can take up to 28 external components and the board size can be seven centimeters square. Integrated gate driver approach can take up to 24 external components and the size could be around 5.5 centimeters square. When we integrate FETs along with the gate drivers, the total number of components could be around 13 and the board size could be three centimeters square. When we integrate gate driver with control, the total components could be 15 and the size could be 2.5 centimeters square. So MCF A316A integrates gate drivers, integrated MOSFETs, and motor controllers all together, and the total components is just 10, and the size is 2 centimeters square, which can significantly reduce the board space by up to 70%. Awesome. Well, Vishnu, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Texas Instruments. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talk section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.